Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Nizio Cole, and Life is Strange 3 was just revealed, and there is a lot to talk about. So I'm going to play the trailer real quick, and then I'm going to talk about everything they talked about after that. When I moved to Haven Springs, I hadn't seen my brother Gabe in years. Alex! <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. Welcome to Haven. This place is pretty sweet. I'm glad you two met. Is this dude my best friend? And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> Alex, right? I'm Steph. I didn't realize... That we all knew you were coming. For the first time in years. Well, what do you think? I love it. I really let myself believe. Welcome home. I don't know what to believe now, except... Too. When I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And if somebody's feeling something big, it infects me and I lose control. I've never told anyone. But now I can find out what's really going on. You'll need help. I've got your back. That was a lot to unpack. Just like before the storm, Life is Strange 3 is being developed by Deck 9, and we no longer have to say Life is Strange 3 because we actually have a title. We have Life is Strange True Colors. Now, there were quite a few leaks that I saw, but I didn't really want to look too deep into them until we had an official reveal. So what is official? The next Life is Strange game is Life is Strange True Colors. As you watch in the video, it follows Alex, who moves to Haven Springs, which looks an awfully lot like Arcadia Bay. Like I'm getting the same vibe. I got heavy Arcadia Bay vibes from the trailer, from the music, from the scenery. It looks like a really beautiful town. And geographically, it does really fit in the Pacific Northwest, so it could be right next to Arcadia Bay. Or maybe Washington, but that doesn't really matter. One of the biggest surprises that I did not expect is that Steph from the first game, which if you guys remember, she was kind of a, a minor side character in that game, is actually going to be a major part of this game's story. Which is going to be really, really interesting because we haven't really, you know, we've had cameos, we've had references, but we haven't really had a returning character in a new game like that. Now, what I'm going to talk about, you know, technically it isn't spoilers because they talked about it in the official video. I'll put a timestamp in the description for you to skip to the non-spoiler part. So in the game, they reveal that she was in foster care, she hadn't seen her brother for eight years, and when they finally meet, he dies, and she develops a mind reading power. But not just mind reading, like emotional mind reading. Like you can feel the emotions of other people. So she's an empath. Um, if any of you guys have watched The Flash, there's a character on there whose name is Cecile and she's also an empath. I was getting heavy vibes from that. I wonder how that power is actually gonna look visually in the game. From what they showed in the trailer, it looks really, really interesting like this, uh, like this aurora around her to signify what emotions she's feeling or what emotions she's sensing from someone else. And they also said that if she's not careful, she can actually develop the emotions of someone else. So if someone has extreme anger, then she, connects to them then she could inherit that anger so that would be 
Uh, that's actually a really interesting mechanic. And because Alex is the main character, I'm assuming we're going to get to play as that. So this is really, really interesting. This is giving me heavy first game vibes, but with a new spin on it. Speaking of first game, I saw Steph and she looked a little bit different, like better, like graphically better. They did mention in the trailer that they have upgraded the graphics without straying too far from the visual style, which is amazing. So that means high resolution textures, but still has the distinct look of Life is Strange. They also revealed the release date to be September 10th of this year with a change from previous games. All previous games is that there are no episodes. The full game is releasing on September 10th, which is really interesting because I thought during the time between episodes, they were still developing the game. So that means they pretty much are finished with the game or are almost finished with the game and they're just waiting to release it. So this will be really, really interesting. Of course, you guys know I'm gonna do a review on it. I'm gonna be making a ton of videos when it comes out, but there was one more thing that they mentioned and is that they're releasing a remastered version of the original game and Before the Storm with enhanced visuals. And you know I gotta talk about that. They didn't give a specific day for that, but they said it was releasing in fall, so I imagine sometime either before or after the launch of True Colors. So yeah, this was a crazy announcement. I was not expecting all of that. I had kind of an idea based off of some of the leaks that I read, but I didn't want to get my hopes up, but, but True Colors looks to be really, really promising. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this reveal down in the comment section below. Let's have a discussion. What do you like? What do you hate? What are you excited for? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.